to them. So today I want to give you some tips for parenting your children throughout the spectrum. When we think children, we think children. I'm talking about from here to here. So let's talk about those things. If you say it, you own it. If you say it, you own it. I remember talking to a, a, a police officer. Yes, I've been a barber for a long time, but most people don't know, and I don't lead with this. I was a psychotherapist for 22 years, master's level. I was a clinician. And I, don't, I left that world about 15 years ago. And I remember talking to a cop that I had as a, a client, and I said, do you ever use your, your gun? Have you ever had to pull the gun? And he says, I've never had to pull it in my entire career. And he said, uh, something I learned in academy many years ago was that once you pull the trigger, once the bullet leaves the chamber, you can't call that bullet back. I'll never forget that. That reminds me of our words. They're like that bullet. Once words leave your mouth to your children of any age, it's like a bullet. You can't call it back. So you have to own everything you say. And if you say something stupid, you need to apologize. There's nothing unmanly, unmasculine about admitting you were wrong. Actually, I would say that is one of the qualities of men, of a true man and a true masculine man, is to admit where he's at fault. I'm not talking about apologies that you see in the media today publicly. I'm talking about private apologies in your home to your family. One of my favorite mentors is John Paul DeGioia, the founder of Paul Mitchell Systems, one of the largest hair product companies in the world, salons, beauty schools, etc. And he has a management style where he says, catch people doing something right. If you want to get a job with Paul Mitchell Systems, you can't. You know why? Because no one leaves. They retire, but nobody leaves. Their retention rate is amazing. If you want to hear a great speech, go to Stanford University's um, business school. John Paul DeGioia speaking. It's about a 60-minute speech. It's the best business speech I've ever heard in my life. And he says, catch them doing something right. Our radar is on for catching people doing things wrong. Sit up. Sit up straight. Suck your stomach in. Wipe that smirk off your face. We, we're, we naturally are wired for that rewire your brain with your kids and say, hey, I like how you're smiling. I like that. When they come out of their room after they dressed themselves, wow, you look really good. That's good for them to hear. Catch them doing something right. Get that into habit. Break the habit of only criticizing. And many of us, I heard a uh, Charles Stanley talked many years ago. He said, inside of us is, you know, we have George, and then we have little George. And that little boy that's inside of every single person, every one of you, can still hear the critical parent, the critical teacher. And we hang on to those voices our entire life. You can't do anything about your past, but you can do something through your children. Your children are your seed, your legacy. You want to live forever? Teach your children properly. That's how you can live forever. Praise in public, reprimand in private. I didn't come from that kind of family. Praise your kids in public, reprimand them in private. We used to joke around in my family, every, everything was reprimand in public. I mean, I got swatted in public. I got put down in public. I won't do that to my children. My children are 22, 20, and 16. Well, actually, 16. And I never did that because of what happened to me. If there's something you don't like about how you were parented, what a great opportunity to turn that around. 
and do something different. Praise in public, reprimand in private. The enemy of execution is complexity. Keep parenting simple. It's better to have one simple project than 10 where no one retains anything. Keep it simple with your parenting. Children remember your projects more than anything else. Think about that. Of all ages, I'm talking the spectrum. CNI, I learned this in management training when I was a hospital administrator. We heard of uh, CQI, Continuous Quality Improvement, TQM, Total Quality Management. Well, what's hot now